care. What's going on? One of the Jesus twins is here. The intern said Satan was in the lobby, and you know what? He really does look like Satan. He looks. He, looks, he says he just got out of the hospital because you know we'd heard that he had some sort of a wacky mental breakdown and stuff. We're gonna win. Stand on up for a second. I just gotta give you one of these. Everything is back by top, best by Come on. As we come back for commercial, we'll bring a cup of coffee. Yeah, I'll get you we'll get somebody to get you a cup of coffee. And a cigarette, please. Okay. Hey Eric. Thanks. So uh why don't, you, why don't you remind us of uh, who you are? Satan. Satan? Mm-hmm. Weren't you one of the uh, Jesus twins? Mm-hmm. So that's not, that's no longer around, right? Mm. No? Mm. So what are you doing up here today? Showing out. Yeah? Why do you want to come up and talk to Howard? Felt like it. Felt like it? Mm-hmm. Where's your brother? L.A. How come you're not there? It's not my time. Not your time? So, uh, we haven't seen you in a long time. What's been going on since then? Yeah, nothing. Nothing? Yeah. Nothing at all? Yeah. So, uh, I mean... I feel like it's the Inquisition. You want to step back a little bit? Sure. What about, uh, what brought you back? back? All right, how about that? Is that good? Back. How's that? A little back. I, then I can't get a shot of you. What about, so you just wanted to come up here for nothing? You didn't want to talk to Howard about anything specific or what's on your mind? You don't know? I really want a cigarette. Well, they're getting you one. Coffee? I think they're getting you that too. Just gotta mellow out. I'm mellow out, but this is like a fucking look at this. With the cameras and shit. You were used to it. You used to love it. Used to it. You used to it. What's, what's changed? I don't know. People, people change, you know? I wouldn't eat that if I was you. That's probably been in there fucking forever. I give a shit. So nothing, nothing, there's nothing new, nothing at all. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. You sure? Mm-hmm. All right. Did you get all over all that being arrogant stuff? I am who I am. Yeah. What happened to the band? I'm doing my music just doing his. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. What's your sound like? Do you have a tape of it? No. No, nothing? No. All right, well, it's been good talking to you. All right. Interesting as usual. All right, so we'll see you in a, in a couple minutes, all right? Uh, all right, man. You just mellow out here. So what's up with, with this guy from the Jesus Twins? Nothing. I mean, we'd heard a lot of weird stuff about them. We heard that um, at one point, one of the guys had a nervous breakdown, that they'd been hospitalized. We heard that, um, you know, that they had a big falling out. I mean, just heard all sorts of stuff about them. But I, I mean, I never understood where they got all that money in the first place. So I guess that's one of the questions we're going to ask him. But I, but he, he looks, you know, I had heard that one of them had a nervous breakdown, and I think this is the one. He's, he's looking pretty scary. Yeah, he says that he might have, you know, he sort of mumbled that he might have been diagnosed as bipolar. But, every, you know, he says everything is bullshit. I said, you know, well, why are we in hospitals? It's bullshit. And I, you know, so, so uh, Casey and I are going to sit. He's going to sit between Casey and I, and we're going to find out what's going on. Do me a favor when, you know, when you get in the air, you know, I know you probably... Got a lot of stuff we want to say. Just try to keep the language down, otherwise we just, nobody will hear you. We'll just end up editing it out. Okay, out in our lobby is Satan. Oh, huh? Good. What? Remember the Jesus Twins? Those guys used to come on our show and everybody hated them? Yes. And they were going to be the next big rock act? Right. According to them. You two guys are the gayest couple I've ever okay. seen. Right. Why don't you get right. a... Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Why don't you lie to no, stare but, at him but, trying to get him to show for three hours? Totally let's not talk. Let's listen, to, the, let's listen to your loser music. Uh, the music will it. wind up on the soundtrack. And you'll oh, yeah. 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 Are you guys really convinced I will hear this music? Yes. yes. And, and you are it's really sad. convinced? Yes. Right, listen, you have... If you want me to criticize the album, I'm more than happy to. All right. You haven't heard the album. I don't give a rat's ass. I am the innovator of music. Uh, Listen to me. Listen to me. Ozzy Shut up. Ozzy Osbourne should have been superannuated years ago. What? The guy's like 75. And Perry Farrell? Yeah. He's an impresario. He's not a musician. He hasn't played a gig in years. He's no good either. They all suck. They all suck. Okay. You and the only guys who are good. All right. Here's your song. Let's hear your song. Your audience made us to 18, 50, and you have Green Day appeals to new kids on the block crowd. Well, listen. Green Day. Green Day. 
they are, they suck in the times over. All well, these bands, Bush, you're saying, Bush, you're saying, Bush was in the studio. They Bush, suck. You're saying guys, everyone I sucks. Have, I don't mind that you say everyone sucks. Why is it you guys have, have not been no discovered? One, we are discovered. By who? Right now. Oh, there was right Howard, they were throwing right around now. a big name. The manager was telling me that the guy that manages Janet Jackson mm -hmm. is in charge of them, and he made a call to you know you your did, label. That, you're a dick. You that, that was an act to get in, you retard. Get him out of here. Fred, last time I called in, last time I called you in, he played Cuckoo music. Right, right. Yeah, I got Fred, security paid We have talked bucks. to these people before. Yeah. Fred, Fred, yeah, these, Fred are the these are the guys. These are the guys who got on the Tonight Show. Remember, they called us. They got on the oh, Tonight those Show. Guys. Duh. 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 Tell that story again. What happened? You got on the Tonight Show. I told you, it enough. How did you get on the Tonight Show? Uh, Just do it quick. Leno Jay, gave it. Would you shut up? Jay <laughs> was at a King Goat. He's so annoying. Here's Satan. He's reinvented himself. They just got crazy. Gary says it's real disturbing because. He Supposedly, doesn't look anything like himself. And he just got out of the hospital or something? Well, I don't doubt that. <laughs> I bet you the other one's still in. No, the other one's in, in Los Angeles. Here he is, Satan. Wow. That's Satan. <laughs> I liked you with the long hair, man. Well, Satan doesn't want long hair. Don't you think he was a lot better looking with long hair? Yeah. You lost your look, dude. Why'd you shave your head? Satan. Yo, yo, yo. Oh, is he gonna? Is he not going to talk now? Here we go. What? <laughs> Shut up. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Satan. Are you going by the name of Satan or the Jesus Twins now? Satan's fine. Satan's fine. Signed the release, Satan. He did sign the release. Had to go back and get his, his you know, his birth name. I was going to say, because is that legal? <laughs> <laughs> you know Satan's got a Jewish name? I know. I know he's Jewish. Jew well, Falwell Jerry Falwell was right. What happened to you? Nothing. What happened to you? We cut off all your hair. What happened to the Jesus twins? Is that over? Jeff's in L.A. and I'm here. Jeff, your brother. Mm -hmm. And why are you no longer with your brother? You guys, <laughs> you guys, you're so close. We are still close. You are still close. I know. Does I, he know you're Satan? Now he does. Did he shave his head? No. He did not. He has the long hair. Why did you shave your head? I wanted to. Tell. Yeah. And and uh, now, when he says he's Satan, does he mean like the devil, or is he just taking a name? Yeah. What's going on with you? You get into devil worship? Are you? Hello. Hello. We were just having a nice conversation in the green room. Where's my cigars? They're on their way. Oh, he's complaining that he wants to smoke in here, and I told him that he can't. Yeah, you can't smoke in here. And then he said, here. if those faggots, Rob Zombie, and all those other faggots can smoke in here, he's going to smoke yeah, in here. Yeah, but Rob didn't smoke in here. I've seen people smoking. Who did you see smoking in here? I've seen people smoking. Tell the truth. Who did you see? You see any I've ashtrays? Do you see an ashtray in here? Years ago. What, are you afraid of a little smoke? Yes. Yes. We're not Satan. <laughs> yeah, I am. I am. I don't like smoke. We're not Satan. You are. Now, what happened? You went into the hospital? Tell me about this. What happened to you? You guys were on your way with your music career, and what happened? Did you have a breakdown or something? No. What, what were you in the hospital for? Just bullshit. Well, you can't curse. I told him that. I know. Well, he's, <laughs> he's Satan. He, he, Satan. He, he, Howard, Satan did <laughs> mumble something to me about um, something about, I said, well, what did they say you were in for? And you said that they thought you might be bipolar. What's bipolar? That's a uh, manic Nothing. depressive. Are you depressed? What are you depressed about? Good looking guy? Not depressed. Got a future? What is the matter with you? Hey, can I ask you a question? There's this thing on your hand that looks like somebody put a cigarette out there. What is that? Burn. You burned yourself? Are you into self-mutilation? No. Well, this is a fascinating interview. Yeah, I guess Satan has to go. Well, no, I, th I thought Satan had a little more to say. Here's a, here's a good question. Why did, why did you come here this morning? Intuition. <laughs> hmm. And and is intuition striking you right now? All right. Okay, listen, Goodbye, I, I tried. Satan. I'm trying, I Satan. Never, I can never figure out with these guys, because like, the first thing he did is he went into a refrigerator tried to eat the horseradish. <laughs> really? What was that all about? No. <laughs> don't eat that horseradish. Trust me. Very dangerous. I, mean, I wouldn't eat it if it was fresh, and I don't think it was fresh. So, Satan, you don't want to tell us why you're here? I felt like coming here. All right. And what is going on with you? How are you making a living? How long were you in the hospital? To give me some information. Everyone's, everyone wants to know. Because i got to play Old Dirty Bastard next. I just broke out yesterday. You just you broke, broke out, out of the hospital? Okay. What hospital were you in? L.I.J. L.I.J.? On Long Island? Mm-hmm. You're from Long Island? Mm-hmm. And you broke yeah, out? You weren't released? Right. You broke out of the hospital? Right. So are you on the lam? I mean, are they looking for you? No. No. Oh. Yeah. Well, what kind of break? Are you on medication? No. No. Should well, are you, you should you be? Should you be? According to them? No. Did they they didn't have you on anything there? They tried to give me some shit, but I broke out. <laughs> All right. All right. So anyway, well listen, it's good no. seeing you, Satan. 
I always like seeing Satan. Oh, can we get his brother on the phone? We could spend him. Where is your brother? Is he available? I don't know. You don't know. Do you have a phone number for him? Like I could call him right now? You could. Okay, hold on a second. Well, it's all right. I mean, it'll take too long. All right. Yeah, I just, there's I, nothing here. We talk to you longer if you have more to say, I think. Right, I think you're kind of quiet right now. Maybe you want to go hang out a little bit. Maybe you'll have more to say later. You want to try that? No? See, visually this works well, but for the radio audience, it's a little dull. Yeah. Satan, did you have a <laughs> message or anything? Yeah, I mean, I want to give you an opportunity to talk. It's just you're not talking. Hold on, you got to put the head, you got to. Oh, you're done? Going. Are all you right. done? No, listen, you guys need to chill out, all right? All right. What do you got there? Fucking sideshow. No, 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 don't, don't use the F word, please. Why are you what here? Is that? What are you doing? I'm taking off my shirt. Why are you taking your shirt off? Because it's hot. Well, you got a good physique, I'll tell you that. Oh. <laughs> I wish I was built like that. He doesn't eat. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> All right, anyway, listen, we got to take a break anyway. It's good to see Satan. <laughs> Thank you for coming in. Yeah. And uh, if you want, you can hang out. And if you have something to say later and you get more comfortable, you'll He's come back in. He's telling us this is not a sideshow. Why did you come here? I'm not making it a sideshow. I just wanted to talk to you. Don't glare at me like that. Oh, you got balls when you're behind glass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. You guys go. Why don't you guys go chill out? Give Satan something to eat. Get him a breakfast. Okay. And see if he feels more comfortable later talking. All right. You want to do that? Want to sit down for a while? Yeah. Give him, give him a chance to unwind. <laughs> He's not comfortable yet. Satan needs to unwind. I know these guys. These guys have a lot on their mind, but they got to get comfortable. Trust well, me on that. He might be here a week. <laughs> so let him get comfortable. That's all. <laughs> I'm trying go to ahead. get comfortable. Good Lord, he has no body at all. All right. Well, he got thin. Hang out for a little while? Yeah? Okay. All right, let us know if, you know, you want to go in and talk or something. Yeah, it's coming. You just hold KC. He's going to go get him. All right? All right, we'll see you in a little bit. You look like you're going to cry. Are you all right? You sure? You're not going to cry. You're not upset or anything, are you? No? You look very upset. You look very upset. Do me a favor, Eric. Can I get your... Can I get your brother's number? 310. Uh, I don't know if he's up. But he we'll, we'll wake him up. Let's see. And what, um. Maybe he'll pick up. And what's his name, Jeff? Yeah. Any pig show up and I'm splitting. What, what kind of pigs? Police. Oh, police. I think you women. <laughs> his voicemail or an answer machine? Sounds like an answer machine. Jeff, it's uh, Gary from Howard Stern's office. If you give me a call, if you get a, give me a chance, give me a call. Can your brother stop by to say hello, and uh, we just want to see what was going on. Thanks. So, if I can ask you, I mean, what can we do for you? Nothing. You're fine. But I mean, why'd you come here? I uh, felt like I do what I feel. Which is fine. I mean, we like having you, but if, but. You said, when, when you first came in, I asked you what was going on. You said, I'll talk to Howard about it on the air. But when you got in there, you didn't see all that talking. You know, it's like a fucking show to you. It's not a show to me. No, no, but this is a show. All right, fine. You showed up here. I no, I understand what you're saying, but this we are actually doing a radio show. All right, to we, me, it's an outlet. Okay, but you got to give a little bit. In other words, well, we're doing a show, and you need the, an outlet. He's you gotta, the interviewer. Right. Let, let him fucking let him talk. He was trying to talk to you, but you were well, only... Why is he getting so uptight for? Because you were only giving him one word answer. Well, it's that's very, the way it's, I speak. But it's very dull to the audience. Well, I'm just trying, you know... That's me. I don't know, I'm just trying to help you out because you came you came Listen, here you came here because you must have had something that you wanted to do or I say already or said what I had to say. So you you say you're done? Whatever you guys want to do. Well, I mean, what do you want to do? I'm chilling. Okay. But after you chill, do you wanna I, I mean do you wanna plan it up. Alright, do you wanna talk again or do you wanna leave or do you wanna Whatever how he wants to go. Okay, but you have some saying it too. Listen, I'm here, I can talk, I can walk. I could skip, I could jump, I could do whatever the fuck I want. You want to bring me in, you bring me in. You want to kick me out, kick me out. Here's what we'll do. We'll keep you here for another 15 minutes. After 15, in 15 minutes, I'll come back to you and ask you what you want to do. If I'm you don't want to do... Answer. Okay, and then... You want to uh, bring me in, you bring me in. You want to kick me out, you kick me out. All right, well, what, I'll tell you what. Hang here for another 10 minutes, and then I'll figure out what I want to do. Is that okay? All right, great. Just, uh, just hang here. The tape. And we got a bunch of other things. Why don't you Gary, what do you think? I don't know. I, I, can't, you know, I can't figure out if he's yanking us or what he wants to do. I, I think that he's probably a little out there and, you know, 
So what do you think you're gonna do in 15 minutes? I'll ask him again. I'll see what you know. I'll sort of gauge it, but my my, my vibe tells me that we're sort of done with him because if that's what he's gonna give us, you know, what are we gonna do? Eric, I just said my my vibe tells me that you pretty much said everything you had to say, and you pretty much said everything you had to do. So I'm gonna say that. Uh, you know, I'm probably not going to have you back on again, and just thank you for coming. You know, you're welcome back. You know, whenever you... I just need you to talk a little bit more, but I hope you, uh, okay. hope you feel okay. All right? Okay. Eric, right, you're just going to make a left here. I'm just going to go straight through that next door over the end. Take care, Eric. Just hit that button on the wall right there. You won't get out. Here you go. Yeah, Eric, hold on. Go ahead. How you doing, man? Yo, yo! Melrose, come here. Go inside. Go inside. Go inside, now. Forget you. This is a seriously mental ill person. I'm an act. This guy is what's called catatonic schizophrenic. What's that all about? This is the reason why you need security and bodyguards in this world. What? This, guy, this guy ought to be locked up, okay? He's sick. I interviewed his brother on the Sunset Strip. His brother is living in LA. His real name is He's from Lawrence, Long Island. What, what did his brother say? Had a nervous breakdown. This guy had a nervous breakdown. He's been in it. He probably did escape from mental hospitals. I'd stay away from post offices if I were you. So he's, so uh, he's look, mad at you because... Look, I've had OJ look me in the eye, and OJ has said to me, I'd rather have killed you than Ron and Nicole. I never saw more hate in a human being's eyes. Folks, I have never been scared in my life until just now.